guys, this is Jager and Just Interviews, and we are interviewing Clara Romance. Please introduce yourselves, you're on the band, and tell us some, uh, something about stuff that nobody knows. Um, Dan and Leopard, play bass. Um, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jake, I'm the lead singer, and um, I love Spider Man. I guess no, everyone knows that. And I'm Chris, and I play guitar, and. Yeah, in my spare time I play guitar. <laughs> Did that, you didn't know that. And I'm Ant. I like to play drums, hit the sticks, and I like nice hats. Nice hats. How did the band come together? Um, no, well, Ant and I went to high school together, and we um, we've been playing music since we were like 14, and different bands and stuff, jamming in the garage and stuff like that, and uh. After our previous band broke up, I decided I want to do something a bit more hard rock, heavy metal, blues orientated. And I had met Chris at a Marilyn Manson concert, and um, I didn't think he liked me. But then we started talking. <laughs> then we started talking. We realized that we both liked the same sort of music, and we hung out and got drunk. And he played me some Randy Rhodes riffs, and I thought, yeah, this guy's fucking, this guy's awesome. And then started band with him one day, and then when mine and Ant's band broke up, we started jam, and then. Dan had come out to see mine and Ant's old band as well and came back here and partied with me and Ant after a show and we knew we played bass and that he was awesome. We got along like a house on fire, so like pretty much just yeah. put everyone together and it right. all melted together very nicely and yeah, it all came about very organically, so it just went from there. Cool. Anyone inspired to make music if so? Probably like Jimmy Page and Randy Rhodes. Guns N' Roses and stuff. Guns N' Roses really made me want to like push with my guitar playing. But like guitar players like Jimmy Page or Andy Rose and Jimi Hendrix are just like insane. Yeah. Brian May as well from Queen. Yeah, it's same here, yeah, like uh, Twisted Sister, Ace and DC, Guns N' Roses, Molly Crew, etc. You know, um, my dad inspires me. My bandmates inspire me. That's it. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah, we pretty much love all the same shit. We just, you know, have Certain bands we love more than others. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite thing about being in a band? Crowd interaction, I guess. Um, yeah. Writing song. Oh, there's so there's so many things. I really love, you know, a good hook, singing a good catchy chorus. That's really good. You know, it's interacting with the audience. You know, when they when you tell them to scream and they scream, it's, it's a very nice feeling. It's nice to be loved. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys feel nervous before? No, I, I get, I've always gone quite the opposite actually, I get more um, pumped up and excited, yeah. like full of energy, I'm like, man, I can't wait to get out on stage, like, I just gotta like, let it all out when I get up there, it's like the complete opposite. For those people who don't know your band, briefly describe yourselves in five words. Rock and roll, is heavy metal one word? Heavy metal blues. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. yeah Something like those lines. <laughs> rock and roll. Yeah. Just oh, catchy, right. melodic, yeah. fun. <laughs> How did you come up with the band name? Um, that was me. I, I love playing with words. You know, just big, big wordsmith kind of guy. I love playing with words, and I thought, you know, fire and love, pyromance. I didn't realize there's actually already a movie called Pyromance, like, so I wasn't the first one to come up with it, I thought I was so clever, but now we've realised that there's a movie called Pyromance, and there's also a circus. Yeah, that's, yeah. okay, well, I didn't know that, apparently there's a circus called Pyromance, so this, but, um, but, um, you know, to me it's like, uh, you know, we have a burning passion for what we do, which is music, and, you know, we love it, so, like, you know, fire and love, pyro, romance, pyromance. That's cool. Yeah. This is a funny one, um, who would you root, who would you marry, who would you kill with a band? I'd probably marry Ant, because he's a fucking gentleman, and he'd be he'd treat me like a princess, like I deserve. <laughs> probably have to root Chris, because he's already my hetero life partner, you know, being my guitarist and all, so he might as well. It might help with the songwriting, who knows. And, um, I could try and kill Dan, but I don't think it would work, because he's kind of unstoppable, so I wouldn't, yeah, I guess, you know. Yep, that's what about, yeah, what about you, Dan? Um, I would... Have sex with Chris. I'd have sex with you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I would marry him, and I would just kill myself because I'm a bass player and I can just be replaced. I would. I'd fuck Dan. <laughs> and then 
then like kill Jake and resuscitate him and then like marry him and just like enjoy the rest of my life just being with him. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, brilliant. I'd probably bang Chris. Fuck it. <laughs> That's just, just throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah, thanks mate. I'd probably marry Dan and then I'd try and kill Jake but then I'd probably, you know, I wouldn't resist, you know, him screaming his high notes at me. <laughs> so I'd probably just put the knife down and just chill. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the band. <laughs> That's it. The rest of my life. Poor Chris, he's gonna have a sore butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Is there any band or artist that you like to tour with or collaborate with? Oh my god, what a great question. Um, definitely oh, D. Schneider. I'd love to play, play a song with D. Schneider, whether it be like in the studio or just live. I think I think just going out and singing a song with him would be a dream come true for me. I'd like to go on tour with Airborne. That would be really cool for us. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. I'd like to collaborate with like Keith Richards, I reckon that'd be fun too. Mm. Or like Brian May or like Randy Rhodes or like play on Slash's record or something, that'd be cool. Yeah, someone like Jet or Darkness, someone new. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Cool. Darkness would be sick. Mm. Cool. Um, any embarrassing songs you secretly like? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything about Montana? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Montana. No, I would say Lady Gaga, but I'm not embarrassed about that. Yeah, I'm not embarrassed either. I crank it and stuff in the car. I love Ju that song, Judas, man. My first um, <laughs> CD that I ever owned was the Hamster Dance album. Oh, I love that song. Yeah. My first, <laughs> my first concert was an Abba Tribute band, so there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Second <laughs> screen day. Favorite song you like to play on? Seduction and destruction. Seduction and destruction. It might have probably, probably now be Sweat yeah. or um, a cover of Hair of the Dog. Yeah. It's just got a, it's got a, they, they both got really punchy choruses and <coughs> fun, fun verses to sing and stuff. What is your writing process? It's different every time, really. Um, you know, sometimes Chris might, it might all start with a riff that he's got and we just like jump on top of that and jam on that and I'll take it home, listen to it and write lyrics to it or I can, I, I come up with melodies to songs, to lyrics I've written and I'll sing the melodies to Chris and then he just like turns them into super bitchin' riffs and then we like create the songs that way. It's, it's always something different, you know. If you could bring back three celebrities from the dead, who would they be? Jim Morrison. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Bon Scott. Yeah. Randy Rhodes. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah. <laughs> um, John Bonham. Um, that's about it, I'd <laughs> say. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any weird fan stories? Not really. Um, it's what's what's so bad about a fan liking your music, you know what I mean? Like what, what the, a fan could probably go do anything short of kidnapping me and locking me in their basement or killing me and like that would that'd probably be the weirdest it would get. Anything anything before that though, I'm totally cool with like oh no, someone loves my music. Hard enough. Like you know what I mean? I think I think something a little bit it's a little bit weird when they like you know, they're at a show and they're like kind of like looking at me. They, I can tell they want to talk to me, but they're like a bit shy. Like, just come and talk to me. Don't bite, you know. Yeah, I think that's sure. it's a little bit weird because I'm just a regular guy. Like, I, like to, I like to meet my fans. If you're a superhero, what superhero? Spider Man. No. Spider Man. Straight up just Spider Man. Oh, cool. <sighs> and, uh, well, I don't know. You think that, man. Yeah, well, I'll just be myself then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He already yeah. is Batman. What goes on behind backstage or rehearsals? Lots of KFC gets eaten. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of KFC. Uh, Lots these of guys smoke a lot of cigarettes. Um, Lots of vodka. Lots of jokes. Yeah. Lots of drinks. Um, just good times. We just muck around. We just, we're always just making up funny stuff to keep us entertained while we're waiting to play a show. Or, in between jams. Does anyone have any romances in the band? Oh, all of us. All of us. Yeah. All of us Especially together. Especially with Dan. Fuck, I love Dan. Yeah. Most yeah. people do. Gives us all huge broners. Um, what is your hobby besides making music? I like playing pool. I like What's professional wrestling. Video games. Poetry. <laughs> 
I also like sewing. Awesome. I like yeah. sewing stuff. Sewing's like, you can get me behind a sewing machine, I'll be in a daze for like five hours. Eh? I'm in love with sewing and handcraft. And stuff. If you had three wishes from a snail, what would they be? Three wishes from a snail. A snail? God. Magic snails. Oh, I'd, I'd be <laughs> wishing to find out why a snail's giving me three wishes. <laughs> oh, I'd like wish for like the guitar that Slash used in November Rain that Jimmy Page, no, Joe Perry gave to him. That would be I'd wish one. for um, KFC endorsement, lifetime supply <laughs> KFC, a golden microphone, and for ty Pyromance to tour the world. Yeah. Make a nice little tour. <laughs> Bit of everything with it. What is your zombie plan? I don't have one. Uh, I have an alien plan. I'll run into a horde. <laughs> just try to take down as many as I can. Shred the zombies <laughs> away. Uh, probably just keep running. Alright. If you had a theme song when you walked into the room, what would it be? Um, Colin Dr. Love, first blood. <laughs> God. That's a really good question. Dude looks like a lady. Yeah, dude looks like a lady. <laughs> In the band, who make who would make the best girl? Who would what? Who would make the best girl? Mm. That's kind of hard considering, you know, we're all pretty nice looking. Yeah. <laughs> um, who would make the best girl? Yeah. Um, probably you. And I like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Um, Definitely. He's look, he's got nice long legs. He's <laughs> quite sexy already. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Do you have any new music that is coming out soon? Um got a couple of new songs. We've um uh, next year um we'll be releasing a, a probably a, a new single or two and a film but it'll be a video to go with that, so it's exciting. pretty exciting, yeah. yeah. Sweat. Sweat's gonna be our next single. Do you have any messages you would like to give out to your fans? Thanks for supporting us, yeah, thanks mate, for coming to the shows. You. You're Thank awesome. you for just everything. Oh, Keep yeah. it going. We need you. We love, love it. it. Thank you for watching. This has been Jager and Jess interviews. Keep smiling. Keep uh, smiling. Rock on. Fuck yeah. Dress up like a zombie and see if they can know if I Yeah, am but like in other movies, they can smell like the flesh. If you don't. Well, when they're about to bite me, I'm like, zombie. They're like, what are you doing? Zombie's <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing?